Salam, Kaifa Halukum. Welcome to learn Arabic online with Lubna Dumaya. Today we'll be still dealing with the verb Mazal. Due to the continuous confusion caused by its multi usage. So, I thought that I have to rearrange the puzzle before we continue on learning a new grammar rule. You may need an aspirin in the end of this lesson. If you don't have the pill, don't watch this video till you get one or ask the neighbors. You have learned that Mazala is one of Kana and its sisters, categorized as an incomplete verb. فعلٌ ناقص Because the meaning of the sentence remain unclear without a noun and a predicate. This verb can have the perfect and the imperfect form only and implies continuity. It has to be preceded by the particle of negation ma to be considered as Kana's sister. What if the other particle of negation la is placed before the perfect of zala to have la zala instead of ma zala? Is this verb a mother sister of ma zala or a synonym maybe? I'm sure you won't be surprised if this is the case, since Arabic is full of surprises. It is noteworthy that many students do not distinguish between mazala and lazala. You probably do not know that when the particle of negation la precedes a verb in the perfect form, it implies invocation of God. Dua. That is to say, with the use of mazala, I inform you about something lasting for a certain time, for a certain period of time, short or long, doesn't matter. I inform you that the man is still asleep. I am informing you that the criminal is still in front of the judge. I am informing you that the weather is still cold. I inform you that peace is still a hope for all nations. So peace. Whilst with la zala, I pray for you. I wish you or someone well. I invoke God for something, for blessing. I invoke divine care for something good. So it's all good, even with the particle of negation. Arabic is saving you from being pessimistic. For instance, 
لا زال حالك ميسورا حالك your condition ميسور um, wealthy or well off be well off so when I say لا زال حالك ميسورا I wish you wealth or may God keep you well off لا زالت صحتك جيدة صحة health a feminine noun that's why I have conjugated la zala in the third person singular feminine here she la zala sahatuka your health jayida good so what do I mean by this sentence may God keep you healthy or I wish you health these are invocatory sentences for the purpose of supplication. Dua. So, restrain yourself from saying La zala ibn because this is <laughs> cursing. Invoking God against his friend, calling down evil upon him. Literally, you wish his friend would never come back. Maybe this is really what you were wishing for, who knows. Or if by mistake that happens to you, you just excuse yourself and you say, pardon me, my Arabic is not good enough to express myself in the correct way, way or you will be cursed back. <laughs> so, the right way to say, your friend is still absent. ما زال صديقك غائبا. Alright? So why? Because the particle of negation la does not negate the perfect, the golden rule. We do not say la ja'a, he didn't come. This is wrong. We say ma ja'a, he didn't come. So, لا أعرف I don't know from the verb عرف to know in the imperfect so we, you may negate, negate the imperfect by using لا لا أفهم from the verb فهم I don't understand لا يهم it doesn't matter. All right. On the other hand, la does negate the imperfect, as I explained right now. So we do not say la zala al hawa'u haran. All right, but we have to say ما زال الهواء حارا The weather is still hot or لا يزال الهواء حارا which means the same thing. Here, لا is negating the imperfect of زالا All right, and ما the perfect of زالا الهواء and al jawu mean the same thing, the weather. So ma yazalu is the imperfect of ma zala, perfect, imperfect. 
which means to still be, to still do, to continue, liter literally, not to cease from the root ze ya lem. This is the root. Whereas yezulu is the imperfect of zela without any particle of negation by itself zela which means and zela uh, may be construed with uh, the preposition zan or min zalan or zala min which means to go away or cease to exist. Thus, this is not an incomplete verb and is not can a sister. So, zala yezulu. Alright, with the root zay wow lam. Different root than this one. زال الألم من ساقي. The pain is gone from my leg. زال من. All right. The two terms ما زال and لا زال cannot be used interchangeably since they don't convey the same meaning. Zala has a negative impact on the sentence. It is marking the abatement, cessation, termination, vanishing. So when preceded by the particle of negation, ma, the meaning becomes affirmative. Because negating the negation leads to affirmation. It's bad. It's bad affirmation. As known among people of logic, grammar and eloquence. The verb zala is negated through ma to express a positive meaning. With this verb, the sentence is informative and its action starts somewhere in the past. Lam yezal. Lam yezal means still. So ma zala equals ma yezalu equals la yezalu equals lam yezal equals still. The adverb still. كان الباب الأمامي لم يزل مفتوحا. The front door was still, still open. لن يزل. So this is in the passive mood, imperfect passive. المضارع المجزوم. لن يزل. Imperfect subjunctive. المضارع المنصوب. لن يزال means will still. لن يزال طلابه مجتهدين. His students will still be diligent. All right. And لا زال you know. Is completely different than these, all these. It has its unique meaning. So, is everything much clearer now? I hope so. If not, no big deal. Go wash your face, grab a Coke and some popcorn, and come back to rewatch me. Always smile. Because you are doing good. That was it. Until then, you like me or dislike me or write to me. You have just three choices. 
to pick from. And you keep learning Arabic with me, Lubna. Il a l'iqa'a.